our heritage, our culture, and the beautiful Punjabis that all of the organizers, the performers are wearing. We would like to give Mr. Dilip Johan one, as well as our honorable mayor. I would also like to take this moment because these formalities are so significantly important because this really is a show of how much hard work the organizers have put into this event. Mr. Mayor, will you join us wearing one of our Banjabis next time you're here? Yes? We got a yes. <laughs> Next time, I said for next time, not right now, but okay. As I said, the Honorable Eric Adams is a champion of diversity and inclusivity and this community. At this moment, I would also like to ask Mr. Nurul Batten to gift the mayor the magazine that we published for this wonderful event. Thank you very much. Mr. Saha, would would you kindly say a few words? And I'm going to request you to say a few words in Bangla. This should be a bilingual portion. Shubha Navavasho. Amra Anundito Gorbito. Bangali Shopche Bolo Anundir Je Jagati. Pohena Boishak, Bangla New Year. Welcome to Honorable Mayor Joy Nujas. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Absolutely. This incredible human being who's standing next to me at this moment has been just a guiding light for NRB Worldwide, Mr. Dilip Johan. Thank you, Shavanti. Just I wanted to give my reports to the mayor. Mayor, as you promised before, three years First time in the history of New York City, we have celebrated Bangladeshi Heritage Month at the Mayor House. Second, this do you remember you asked Mayor that you wanted to have Bangladesh flag in the New York City. Second promise which Mayor gave to have the flag hosting ceremony in New York City, that also we did. Mayor, this committee always believe in you and they asked me to convey that sincere, sincere thanks to you for taking time out from your busy schedule and making this event possible. Thank you so much. Now I would like to request none other than 110th Mayor of New York City, Eric Adam. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Dilly. Take your, your spot. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. I have been here uh, many times before of uh, this important community, the Bangladeshi community, and those who believe in the power of our faith. But during this time, I want to personally thank you in a time for running for mayor, this community has been so supportive. And as the leap shared, we were very clear on meeting with your leaders and looking at the things that we believe we must do in government to continue to ensure that businesses are supported, that our city is safe, and that we created an environment where we can raise healthy children and families. And we must do that together. We cannot do it if we are divided in any way. And your faith states that that is what 
we are supposed to have on the forefront. And so as we gather here in Liberation Square, let's ensure that we are not only devoted worshipers, but we must be devoted practitioners. A lawyer does not go to law school just to read about the law, they go to law school to practice the law. A doctor does not go to medical school just to read about medicine, they go to medical school, medical school to practice medicine. So being a devout worshiper of faith, you can't just worship, you must be a practitioner. That means that we must be there for our seniors and older adults during their times of need as they cycle out of COVID. It means in a city where so much Hinduism exists that we cannot see the level of violence that we're seeing in our city because after worshiping, we must go and become practitioners to talk to people who are in pain. It means that when we deal with mental health issues, we can't only do it in our houses of worship, we must go to the streets and do it in our city <laughs> as well. The same with drugs, fentanyl and opioid. You are seeing in your community for the first time your young people are using these bad drugs because we must go beyond just being worshipers. We must become practitioners and practitioners mean we must leave our houses of worship and go execute that what we have been taught. And as your mayor, I am committed to doing that. Every Wednesday night at 9 p.m., I am on 34th Street between 7th and 8th Avenue giving out food to the people of this city who don't have a meal. If you take one hour a week, one hour a week, and dedicate it to doing as your faith says, to helping people who are in need, we would turn this city around. I know this community. This community is a community of faith. It's a community of giving back. It's a community of family. It's a community of believing in what's best about us as New Yorkers. Let's now live out what's best about each other and see faith in each other. Thank you so much for allowing me to come and spend time with you today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you is too small a word. We have with us our Honorable Consul General, Dr.